to take you to the next. Come on, that's somebody I talk to. Amen. To the next level. Right. Be thankful for the level that you're on. That's right. Now, I wasn't too thankful when they were washing them dishes. Though. <laughs> I tell you, I wasn't too thankful. But I did it as unto the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, y'all still in Acts 2.42? Yes. The believers spent their time listening to the teaching of the apostles. Yep. They shared everything with each other. They shared everything with each other. Everything. What did they share? Everything they were learning from the apostles. People read scripture like this and they just get it all wrong. They shared everything they were learning from the apostles. They had all things in common as far as the doctrine that the apostles were teaching them. But sometimes people think, well, they had all things in common. I got to give everything. And they did. It was a place where they, they sold things and, and, and blessed one another. But people today, you know, they, they, they think they're supposed to just give everything away. Because that's what they read in some in the Bible. And now they're homeless. <laughs> why, 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 why come you didn't come through for me? They think because you got sharing everything in common, you got to know my business, I need to know your business. No, you, you need to know that the only people who want to know your business is busybodies. Mm. Yeah. The only people who want to know your business are gossipers. Mm. Mm -hmm. They're the only one. So it's best for you not to be telling everybody all your business. All your people. Mm -hmm. Keep your business to yourself. Amen. Take it to the Lord. Amen. In prayer. Amen. 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 And then when the Lord leads you to guide you to get some, some, some counsel, some wise, some wisdom from uh, uh, mature saints who's going to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. Watch those busybodies. Or they'll run up, they'll be the ones that run up to you. <laughs> get close to you. Because they want to know your business. Girl, what you going through? I know you're going through something. Come on, you can tell me. Because <laughs> then they're going to put scripture. Confess your faults one to another. Because <laughs> you might be healed. Now they got scripture. They don't know how to use it correctly, though. They're not rightly dividing the word of God. Well, well. And, and then you're like, But brother told me this is prayer information. <laughs> <laughs> and so now brother Tony and his prayer partner this month. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just prayer information. <laughs> but now, you know, hey, it was something small that you told me. But now when brother Tony told it to his prayer partner, and now his prayer partner is spreading it, mm. brother Danny's dying tomorrow. <laughs> Can't believe Brother Danny died in a while. He just told me he got a toothache. That's how he told me. That's how people, they do busybody gossipers. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know something about busy body, busybodies and gossipers, what they have in common? You know what they have in common? They hear what they want to. Mm. That's right. They hear what they want to. Yeah. And they don't hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. That's right. Amen. And the more you fellowship with being a busybody or a gossiper, you keep just hearing what you want to hear. Mm -hmm. Even when no one is speaking. Mm. 